time for Thursday's hour number two on Hashtag Daily K with your host, Peter Bint. If you want to be a trendsetter who knows Korea like the back of your hand, then don't miss out on this. Time to bring together Korea's hottest issues and deliver them to you on... Inside Korea! With Soo Jung! It's a Thursday, 5th of August. Soo Jung's in the studio to make us the trendy, fashionable, <laughs> cool kids. How you doing, Soo Jung? I'm good. You had a good week since we saw you? Yes, I've been watching the Olympics. Oh. Hot what, issues. What has caught your eye over the past week? <laughs> um, Volleyball. Oh, that's I didn't watch the, the recent heart. game, but like the game before when uh-huh. they played against... Um, Oh, I forgot. Um, we won, though, right? Yeah, yeah, Whoever it was, it, it doesn't was really matter. It was, it was, oh, Japan, Japan. It was Japan. That's why it mattered yes. more, didn't it? <laughs> yes, because we beat Japan. It was such a good game. And then I think yesterday they beat Turkey. Yes, yes. It was on while I was broadcasting, and everyone outside, I think, was just watching that, not listening to what I was saying. <laughs> I could have just sung for two hours, I think. Uh, and that means we're in the semi-finals, yes, right? Yes, yes. Wow, we could win a medal. Excited, yeah. And then this morning, you just mentioned as you came in, you started watching the golf. Yes, yes, I did. I just watched um, some few, a few tee shots. Oh, and <sighs> we're not in the medal positions at the moment, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So I think Puginby is the gold medal holder, yes, right? Yes, yes, but she's not doing so good. She didn't do so good in the first round, but Come hopefully... On. Hopefully, we have like three more rounds left. So. Yeah, and we always win the LPG events like every yeah, week. Yeah, exactly. Let's win the Olympics. <laughs> yeah. Come on, we can do it. Mm-hmm. Uh, if we just keep on checking the leaderboard, I'm yes. sure there will be updates later. Yeah. I'm looking now, and the highest placed Korean is Jin Young Ko. Yes. Tied for eighth. Okay. Yeah. It looks like it is Min Lee. Oh no, that's from uh, Taiwan, I yeah. believe. Okay, fingers mm. crossed. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Uh, getting on to today's themes, trends, hot topics. Okay. We do that every week on Inside Korea. It's hashtag Hwaje, right? Mm-hmm. So, what's the first one? Yes, the first one is hashtag nightlights. Nightlights? Mm hmm. Do you know what a nightlight is like traditionally? Like a nightlight. Have you heard that? Oh, the one you put next to your bed? Like for babies, usually. Yes, Yes. like a nightlight. I used to have like a a puppy-shaped nightlight when I was a baby. Mm Oh, did you like feel attached to it? Yes, I did. I I love like pillows, dolls, lights, little, you know. Oh, anything related to like (laughs) sleeping and going to bed. Uh Uh-huh. and for me, not so much. I, I I liked it dark, and I still to this day like it really dark at uh, night. But we used to have for that's our good kids for your yeah, health. I heard mm-hmm. right. You shouldn't have lights on. It's yes. not good for your resting. But the ones that you plug into the wall mm-hmm. and then they stay like yes, dim I the do. whole night. I know it. I know it. <laughs> but we're not talking about those kind of nightlights. No, lights, not those right? kind of lights. <laughs> okay. Well, it's really really hot these days, right? Yes. But it's a little bit better in the night, right? It's got better than bit. the past week, right? Yeah. Over the past week because of the rain yes. and stuff. Yeah. So we're going to talk about places to go at night for a night stroll and enjoy beautiful lights and night views. Ooh, and as you said, it's getting cooler at night. And especially outside your apartment is much better at right. night time with the breeze and exactly. whatnot. And we can enjoy some nice lit up places. Mm-hmm. Oh. I'm not going to talk about places we can go like near our home. Ah. I'm going to talk about recommend some places outside of Seoul where you can enjoy beautiful night lights of Korea. Okay, and mm-hmm. uh, hopefully uh, these places, not too crowded if they're outside of Seoul, but it is peak vacation time. And I have seen some people going out and about. Yes. Obviously, stick to the social distancing rules or enjoy mm-hmm. the photos. I don't think there are too many people here. Okay. So, yes, the first place is called Pyeolpi Jongwon Uju, and this means starlight garden space in English. Oh, as it's in spaces called, in the yeah, universe. Yes. <laughs> no, it's also called Uzu, like space as in universe, because it looks like a galaxy ah, because of all the lights. They look like stars. Yes, and they, it is located in Gyeonggi-do Itcheon. Not too far from Seoul, mm, though. Maybe an hour, a little bit over, right, depending right. on the traffic. Mm-hmm. Uh, so what is this place? So if you go here, you can see a light flight festivals all year round. <gasps> you see the photo. It's wow. beautiful. This happens all year round. Yes. 
And obviously, you should go when it's dark to get full advantage. <laughs> yes, Otherwise, yes, not definitely. so fun. You can also go during the like the daytime. Mm-hmm. It's going to be pretty. The nature. Oh, it's just a garden kind mm-hmm. of thing. Okay. Yes. So it's like an outdoor natural light, not natural light, <laughs> lights lights um, theme experience. Like a light museum. It looks yes, like. Yes, it's beautiful. Wow. I've never um, been there, but I've seen photos of my friends. Yeah. Going there, and they looked really nice. Yeah, we for a long time in Korea had at least some places where there are temporary light light festivals. Yes. Yes. Some places like I think it's Provence. In Paju, if ah, I'm not yes, mistaken, I know, I've heard of it. Like kind of like a French village. Mm-hmm. That's been around for ages. We love lights yes. at night and yes. going for a stroll. Yes. It's romantic. It is. It is. <laughs> um, and during the day, you can see the European gardens mm-hmm. with a lot of flowers and plants. So, you know, regardless of day and night, you yeah. can go there for a nice stroll. Is there anything in particular fun that happens there? Yes, at night, um, you can enjoy. Um, Uh, a lightning show, oh. like a lighting show, not okay. a lightning show. Not <laughs> lightning real lightning, show. that'd yes. be a little dangerous. Busking performances, uh-huh. and there's also a space tower you, where you can enjoy tea. Sounds good. Mm-hmm. And if you go at night, it's not cheap, but it's not expensive. Yes, it's um, $12,000 won. Okay, about $10-ish. It's okay, ish. it's mm-hmm. okay. Yeah, not bad. The mm-hmm. only problem is... I heard it's quite worth it, though. After 6 p.m. in many regions, I'm not sure about Ichan, Mm because that might not be the sole metropolitan area. Mm -hmm. You can only go in groups of two. Oh, yes, So I wonder if that's the same here. I think it does apply, yeah. If you're going on a date, then Mm -hmm. that's okay. With family, maybe you'd have to split up. (laughs) But the ticket price is free if you buy uh, a drink from the cafe. Oh, so, yeah. that's amazing. Yes, I'll that just is. buy a drink then. Mm-hmm. Uh, second place. Yes, it's called Tunggung Palace and and it's by the Wolji Pond. It's re- located in Gyeongju. We've talked about the Wolji Pond a mm-hmm. few times. That's traditionally one of the most beautiful places, right, it in is. Korea. It is. It's if you look at the photo, uh-huh. it's beautiful. We're showing you images. It's beautiful. It's a reflection of all the it's lit definitely. up buildings mm-hmm. in the pond itself. Yes, it's and it's def- not a tiny pond, it's huge. Yes, it is. It's definitely on my bucket list. I saw the photos and I was like, oh my God, I have to go there. Yeah, even mm-hmm. if it is like hot, that would just make you feel good looking at that scene. Yes. Well, the reflections on the pond are what makes this place so popular to mm. visit at night. And the lightning all over the place is the perfect location to practice night photography, to go for a nice stroll. Seems pretty romantic. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Unless you watch things like Kingdom and then you (laughs) remember the palaces at night are the scariest places in the world. But... Uh, That aside, it does look so picturesque. Yes. The palace is said to be where the princess of the Shilla dynasty lived. Oh, because Gyeongju is a historical hub, right? It is very historical. It's where lots of school kids go to learn some history. Yes, yes, I did when I was in middle school. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're thinking of taking the kids there late summer, early autumn, because my son loves Korean history. That's a great idea. You should go here. The third and final place, looking yes. up perhaps for the lights. Yes. Well, we talked about artificial lights, mm-hmm. but, you know, natural lights yeah. are the best. Not the sun, though. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> and this is a great place to go stargazing. Oh. It's called Chungmisan Chonmunde, located within Chungmisan Recreational Forest. Um, and it's 437 kilometers above sea level, so it's. I, I'm guessing that's 437 high. meters above sea level. Otherwise, that would be higher oh, than Everest, right? I'm so right? sorry, meters. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's still pretty impressive. So yes. It's an observatory, right? Yes, it is. We've got some photos to show mm-hmm. you the night sky there. And it's only 40 minute, a uh, 40 minute drive away from Seoul, so that's not bad. Oh wow! So you can see clear skies like this just 40 minutes away. Yes, it's beautiful. Um, you can observe over 3,000 stars. I'm so, not sure I'd count them all. Yeah, but, <laughs> but you know, like in Seoul, we can rarely see stars. Maybe like five. Yeah, the brightest ones you can see. Sometimes the planets, like you can see Mars and stuff, and you can sometimes. tell by the red tinge. Yeah. But yeah, it's nothing like the photos we're seeing. Mm-hmm. You don't see that at all. Yes. I think that's a time lapse photo, but still, yes, lovely view. And you can see, I heard like um, shooting stars as well sometimes. Oh, you know, I've so. never <gasps> seen a shooting really? star in my life. Really? Have you? I did. I did like twice. Wow! wow. <laughs> and you meant to make a wish and stuff. Right? I did make a wish. Did it come it was... true? No. Oh. <laughs> 
Well, then I don't care. I don't need to see one if it's not going to come true. <laughs> that was beautiful. It was such a good experience. That's why you're seeing it, isn't it? Yes. Uh, Aaron Humphrey says, wow, it's amazing how beautiful places are at night for mm-hmm. photos. And Gyeongju is definitely on my bucket list. Aaron is currently in Korea working. Right. You've got to get down there. Definitely. This observatory, though, it's got lots of other things you can do in and around the place, right? Yes, you can go forest bathing. And there's like um, programs for children. Mm-hmm. And you can also go insect learning. There's like insect learning programs. So that's interesting. Absolutely. Kids love creepy crawlies, unlike (laughs) their parents who are often scared. Yes. I won't name names, but it's me. Uh, (laughs) Siska says, whoa, beautiful. I need to go to that place with the lights the place in Gyeonggi-do, what was mm. it called again? Uzu. Yes, Uzu. <laughs> if you want to look at it in English, it's like four O's, a Z, and four no, more O's. No, three O's, O's three O's. V, and three more O's. Don't get that mistaken. <laughs> I don't know what the search would give you. <laughs> and you said, do you see the lights? Does that mean you stay overnight there? No. I don't think these places no. are open 24-7, but till late usually. Yes, but now since it's corona, I think most of them close at 10 or 11. Mm, mm. Yeah, yeah, there's 10 p.m. restrictions on many businesses. Yes. But that gives you plenty of time because here in Korea, even in the summertime, it doesn't stay light past like 8 p.m., yeah. right? So yes. you've got a good yeah, couple of hours. Time. Yeah. Yep. Sophie says, that's so refreshing and majestic. It's a very grand atmosphere. Yes, it is. I agree. At the palaces, Mm -hmm. yeah. If you put on a humbok, like a royal one, and went there, that'd be amazing for photos. You could pretend you were back in time. Mm -hmm. Uh, Tropic OK says, oh, my ears perk up any time I hear about stargazing. When are we going? (laughs) I do want to take the kids so desperately Oh, you should, because there are a lot of children programs too. Yeah, but I think due to the height and social distancing... Um, uh, There's a lot of restrictions on that, so I yeah. might have to wait till autumn or winter. True. Fingers crossed. Yes. Silver Granny says, I want to go to Korea. Come. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing stopping you after the yes. vaccines are rolled out and stuff, right? right? I'm in London. I'm in Australia. Tokyo. The Philippines. Finland. Indonesia. New York. Arirang Radio. Radio. Now live in Seoul. Getting on to our second topic, Sujong. Leather, but not traditional leather. Yes, not traditional leather. We're going to talk about vegan leather today. Are we meant to eat it? No. (laughs) Okay, because you're right. Vegan is like a lifestyle where you just don't use any animal yes, products, like yes. hardcore vegans, yes, right? Not gonna, even to wear. Yes, not at all. We're uh-huh. going to talk about very eco-friendly animal, like not cruel okay. leather. <laughs> so what is vegan leather? Yes, uh, well, vegan leather means like um, alternative eco-friendly ways to make leather. So oh, like new okay. fabric or like new leather made with oh, different um like base materials yes, and stuff yes well, that's amazing they say it's often polyurethane yes. so it's like man-made but yes. can look like leather still. right but it's like you can make them with lots of different things like we're going to talk about mushrooms and pineapples here maybe you could eat them then <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you should put them in your mouth, should you? <laughs> okay. The first brand. So mm-hmm. a lot of brands are shifting away from real leather because uh-huh. it's really controversial. It's, you know, it's the, it's really hot. We can feel the global warning. Yes. Like, we can actually feel it now, right? Yeah, I'm glad so, that brands are taking this on as yes. part of their project. Because I don't often think of my shoes as being not environmentally friendly. Yeah. But it's a Good point, isn't Mm -hmm. it? So a lot of big brands Mm -hmm. are kind of shifting away from using real leather to search for alternative ways to make their products Uh a bit more vegan and eco-friendly. Nice. So the first brand is the famous Uchi. With the G in front. Yes, vegan leather sneakers. That brand is incredibly expensive, it but is, quite very popular high end. in Korea. I, yes. I've never seen any youngsters wear it in England. But such, here. It was such a trend like a few years ago. It uh-huh. kind of made me like kind of hate it. Oh, because there were so many people wearing it. Yeah. It was so popular. It was, it we, was really, really trendy. We do trendy. have a little bit of an obsession with brands here in Korea. Yes. Yeah, like, if it's generation. a trend, the younger generation started. Mm-hmm. Like, and once the like youngsters start wearing it... Yeah. We know that everyone's wearing it. Absolutely. (laughs) And we're talking about sneakers in this case. Yes. So 
Uchi has launched its first ever vegan sneaker range made from wood pulp. And these are the sneakers. Yes, these are the They're sneakers. They're made from wood pulp. Yes. They just well, look like normal sneakers. Yes. Um, it's made of from an animal-free material called uh-huh. Demetra. And this was named after the Greek goddess of harvest, Demetir. Oh, okay. And it's a faux leather made from 77% plant-based raw materials including wood pulp and fabric made from sustainably managed forests. Wow, so, you couldn't tell. That's pretty impressive. I've got to say, I really don't like those sneakers, <laughs> like the designers' stuff. They look too clumpy for it's me. It's very Uchi style. <laughs> but each to their own. Mm-hmm. And you couldn't tell that was made from wood yes, and plants, could definitely. you? Wowzers. Mm-hmm. Well, it also contains, um, like you said before, polyurethane. Mm-hmm. Um, and sourced from wheat and corn. Okay. It's so cool. I hope that doesn't take away from like food for starving people, you know, to make these <laughs> Hopefully. Be- designer sneakers. We've yes. got another pair as well, yes. which look more my style, mm. like a They're little bit louder. Cool. Yeah. And mm-hmm. yeah, I guess if you're helping the environment at the same time, but I'm assuming they're still very expensive. Yeah. You know, they have the brand. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okie dokie. And that's in a lot of their new sneakers. Yes. They're, they use the new fabric in all of their three new sneakers Mm -hmm. and yes good for them Mm -hmm. getting on to the the tick or swoosh brand yes the swoosh brand um i love their brand i love all i have all my i think all most of my sneakers are Uh from this brand i can show Um, on air that i also like this brand mm -hmm. here they are they're a bit smelly (laughs) but yes i always go to their factory store because you get the big discounts ah yes and then i'm not fussy discounts oh i see the the pair we're going to talk about Mm -hmm. they're um also they have also made vegan sneakers Uh and their shoes are from are called Happy Pineapple. Are they it's called made? the Happy Pineapple Trainer Collection. Wow, they're so nice. I love those. Mm-hmm. That's the Max, I think, ninety five yes. style. Yes. Why are they called pineapple? Because they uh, made this in collaboration with a vegan pineapple leather brand. Oh. Um, Which is really made from pineapples? Yes, I think so because. Oh. Um, the leather components on the trainers feature the latest plant-based leather, mm-hmm. and they are made from pineapple leaves. Ah, the leaves mm-hmm. of the plant. Wow, yes. they are very tough, so I suppose that could work. Yes, yeah. and um, they also promise to have 95% renewable resources and enhanced material performance. Yeah. So. Uh, there's another pair lined up here. So the designs are really really beautiful. They are. And you see the material on the front, the kind of material material rather than the plasticky leather parts. I've seen that on their other sneakers and they say it's all like recycled. Mm -hmm, And it it doesn't look uniform or some of them. It's like all clumpy in the patterns. Yes. But it looks great. I love that kind of idea. Yes, yes. This whole idea is part of swooshes <laughs> mm-hmm. move to zero move to zero campaign uh-huh. a move to minimize their environmental footprint as a business and yeah. to maximize avenues for positive impact as a brand and i think that's a really good you know move for the popular brands especially you're already it's popular big brand, so, so if you do that yeah. your customers are going to stay with you and yes. you get new customers yes. as well. there's nothing to lose mm-hmm. i feel and the third and final thing it's not a sneaker yes it's a yoga mat slash bag it's like a yoga um equipment wear brand okay and i'll say i'll just say lulu i've never heard of them because i don't do famous. yoga yes uh, if you do yoga i think or if you like buying sportswear i think a lot of people have heard of this brand are they like kind of fancy yoga yeah they're wear? like kind of a little bit pricey fancier oh, yoga really? wear but they're actually really nice still and comfortable yes they're still comfortable and yeah it's a nice brand what are they making their well, products out of their um fabric is made of milo and this is a mushroom based vegan leather <laughs> created by biomaterials um startup uh-huh. brand company wow. we're seeing the product they look like just designer fashion bags yes oh is that the mat on the bottom yeah kind of looks it's corky. pretty cool it does look different from plasticky normal brands yes wow i guess milo comes from mylocillium i think that's the name of like ah, mushrooms and stuff which maybe. is kind of clever mm-hmm. wow it looks beautiful yeah they're making their mats and their bags out of this fabric uh-huh 
And yeah. This isn't a Korean brand, right? Oh, it's not a Korean. But these products are all I think, yeah, gaining not, popularity not. here this, in Korea. It's been popular for quite a while. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. And it's just the trend of now shifting over to vegan yes, kind of materials. Yes, yes. Lovely stuff. Uh, Tropic Girl says uh, from the Caribbean, they are so pretty and nice. Peter really is a sneaker connoisseur. I used to be. Now I just get whatever's on sale. Like <laughs> I used to really care and spend hundreds of dollars. Yeah. But they always get dirty oh. like quite quickly, the yeah. white ones. So I'm I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> and uh, you also say, let's be honest, people don't often talk about the fashion industry, especially the big popular couture brands, mm-hmm. but they have the worst eco track records. This star is in the right direction. Yes. You're probably right in Definitely. the past. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Raul says, wow, nice plant based. I'm not a fan of leather in shoes or sneakers. Mm. Yeah, that's good. You know. Having just like material ones. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Raul. I've seen, I think, you wear sneakers before. And they're not the like leather based ones. Mm-hmm. I agree. They're kind of more breathable as well. Leather can be like stifling. Yes, right? definitely. Uh, Steve Fong says, wow, is this like organic leather? Well, I guess organic leather would still be from animals, maybe. But yeah. in an organic way without chemicals. Mm-hmm. But this is like vegan, not from animals. Yes, right? not from animals at all. And you said such bright designs. Do they have more t- toned down designs? Well, the G Uchi brand, their first pair that we showed, that was just all white with yes, a few stars, yes. if, if that takes your fan. I'm sure they've got a range, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, Sophie says, oh, oh my, great minds. Innovation is awesome. Absolutely. Yes, Some genius absolutely. humans, mm-hmm. I always feel... That's amazing what mm-hmm. you guys are doing because I could never come up with all these ideas. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Thank and if goodness. these big brands make the like moves, mm-hmm. other brands will follow. So absolutely mm-hmm. follow suit, right? And Aaron says those shoes look awesome. I couldn't tell that they were made out of any special material, mm-hmm. and I wonder if maybe more of these types of shoes will become popular in the future. Yes, Siska so. says vegan leather. First time I've never heard of it. Cool. Um, these sneakers are my taste. Mm. Oh, your sneakers. His sneakers is my taste. You, what brand? I want, want Peter's sneakers. <laughs> haha. In my size, though. <laughs> well, they are also one of those brands that we mentioned. I won't mention it too much because uh-huh. they're not paying me to promote them, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, let's get on to our third and final trend. I previewed to our listeners before you came in something to do with water. Yes. Well, remember, Peter, a few weeks ago, we talked about Pulmong? Fire zoning out, like yes. staring at a fire. Yes, but today we're going to talk about mulmong. <laughs> Sounds similar, but <laughs> mu is what we're staring at, water. Yes, yes we're we spacing out while watching water, like gazing at the water. Yeah, That's what like we're do- just not stressing about anything, yes, right? Yes, another new trend <laughs> with along with mulmong. People just seem to want to stare at things in Korea these days. <laughs> Mong derigi or yeah, zone out. Yeah, I think out. it's like sort of similar to meditate. I guess. Mm. You know? Oh, if you look at it that way, mm-hmm. then it's like sometimes I thought with Mong Derida, mm-hmm. that's a waste of time. Do something productive. But if you think no. of it like meditation, yeah. totally necessary. Yes. Wow. Okay, mm-hmm. I'm on board. You can empty your mind. Mm. Yes. So we're going to talk about some cafes, nice cafes to go mulmong in. <laughs> oh, okay. So you can see the water from these cafes. Yes. Uh-huh. So the first place is called En Hakor. In Chungcheongnam-do province, Doesn't I think it's like a Korean. Bible name, like a Bible meaning. Oh, it's called um, the uh, um, it means fountain of him that called or prayed. Oh, so I don't. I'm, I'm glad. Um, I'm guessing people who. Um, a religious, might, a religious know that. might know it, yeah. I was quite familiar with the Bible when I was younger, but I don't remember seeing that. That's an mm. interesting one. So, yes. where is this? Well, it's located by Buljanggol Reservoir uh-huh. in Chungcheongnam-do province, Gongju. I think we've got a photo of yes, it, right? It's beautiful. That water looks like very green emerald. tea. <laughs> <laughs> it looks, it's really emerald green. Absolutely. That doesn't, I love that color. It doesn't look real almost. That's yes. unbelievable. It's we, like a storybook. We do have quite a lot of reservoir mm-hmm. lakes, right? Yes. So it we may do. not be natural, but with all the trees surrounding it, yes. it is nature in a way. Yes, it's beautiful. And you can sit like right next to it. I can sit there it. for hours. Oh, that's a brilliant place mm-hmm. to sit. I want that table. 
Well, this cafe is also popular for their signature coffee. So they, um, it's a mix of pistachio and espresso. Wow, that so, suits the color. Because mm-hmm. I think pistachio ice cream is usually green. Yes. And some of the nuts are yes. green. Absolutely mm-hmm. loving that. Beautiful. Next down to Busan. Yes, it's called Chimmok Cafe. Mm-hmm. And if we say Busan, you might think of Ocean View. Hyundai. Yes, Kwangali. and I think I mentioned some before mm-hmm. uh, a few weeks back. Yeah. Um, but this time it's a view of Nakdong River in Busan. We talked about the Nakdong Estuary earlier this week on K Stream because there's photos and 360 experiences if you can't go and visit in person online these mm-hmm. days, which was wonderful. But this is what it looks like if you go to the cafe. Yes. That's a big river estuary. Yes. That's the indoors view uh-huh. of the cafe, um, of the river. Yeah. So there's like the indoor and there's also outdoor seats. I prefer the outdoor seats. Look at that. You could fall in. There's like no barrier or it's anything. It's beautiful. Uh, it's a so great close. place for Brumong. And I'm guessing the breeze would be lovely in the mm-hmm, summertime. Definitely. I think it's better to watch water up close. Because if you watch yeah. it from far away, I think it's kind of boring. It can be. And yeah. especially if you're indoors. Like mm-hmm. far away and outdoors is better. Like we get the actual wind. And if you're near the sea, mm-hmm. I love the smell of the sea, ah, right? Me too. The saltiness in the air. Sometimes when I'm watching the sea, mm. I like try to look for dolphins. Oh, yeah. wow. You're just out there with yeah. your eyes. <laughs> yeah. I really breathe deeply when I'm there. And breathing deeply anytime is mm-hmm. apparently really good for you. Like you should just breathe deeply. Yes, definitely. Breathing is very, very important. And if you consciously do it, it really calms you down. Mm-hmm. And I think the water encourages you to take mm-hmm. a... Yeah, it's also really good for your mental health. Absolutely. Yes. Oh, I want to go there now to Busan. I've never been to the Nakdong River, mm-hmm. although I've been to Busan many times. Oh, me too. I haven't really been to a cafe near there. Mm-hmm. I've been to Busan many times too. Okay. Um, they're also popular for their brunch menu- menus and signature latte. Their Ooh. sandwich did look good mm-hmm. on that uh, windowsill. Yes. And third and final one over to the East Coast. Well, I've been to this place oh, nice. twice. <gasps> it's called Terra Rosa... Um, it's like a franchise cafe. Yeah, I've heard but that yes, name. It's, Kyung, it's in Gyeongpo Lake store. Ah, it's a Gyeongpo Lake store, actually. Which is near the beach, but there's also a lake just before the yes, beach, Yes, right? yes. It's in Gangleung. Mm-hmm. And Gangleung is where Korea's oldest uh, coffee trees are grown. So uh-huh. there are a lot of cafes there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And among the cafes, the biggest is Terra Rosa. Oh. So I think um, Terra Rosa is originally... Ah, that's where they then, started yeah, and now they've got branches they, yes, in yes, Seoul. Yes. And we, we've got a photo of it. Mm-hmm. What are all those on the side? Is that books? They're books. So the, <gasps> in, the indoor um, interior looks like a library if you go. It's kind of huge. Wow. Bless you. <laughs> Thank you. And a ladder that mm-hmm. you can climb up and get oh, the books. I don't think you can use the ladder. That it's just for safe. like, uh, I don't, I've never seen anyone use the ladder. Uh-huh. Just um, for like display. Yes, yes. And the outdoor seats are a great, is a great place to Rumong. Oh, and that it's is the lake. Quite similar to the first place. Yeah. yeah. There's not too much outdoor like terrace cafes in Seoul. Like, yeah. It's very built up. Yeah. So getting out of the city. Mm-hmm. Staring at some water. Yes. Simple but perfect. Yes. I love it, Sujong. Thank you so much for coming in with these trends. Beautiful. I feel relaxed already just Mm -hmm. looking. Looking at water in a photo is not that bad, actually. (laughs) It's better than not looking at photos of water. Sujong, have a wonderful week and we'll see you next Thursday. You too. See you next week. You can also listen to Inside Korea with Sujong on Arirang Radio's Hashtag Daily K every Thursday at 10am KST.